Hey, Basic here. In the last video, I was talking about how the chain guide broke, and I wasn't quite sure if I needed to replace it or not. So I went out and did a whole bunch of riding, and that's why the bike is, is so dirty. And it turns out that, yeah, I do need to replace that chain guard or chain guide, and that kind of makes sense, honestly. On a bike like this, where it's spec'd pretty cheap and they want to do everything they can to keep the price down, the only reason the manufacturer would add something extra, even if it is a pretty cheap part to a bike like this, is because the bike does in fact actually need it. So what happened to me was when I was riding gently, the bike was fine, I didn't drop any chains, but when I started to push the limits and you know have fun on the bike, I started to drop chains pretty frequently, so I went ahead and bought a replacement. And I've been kind of tinkering with this thing, trying to figure out the best way to make this fit. So here's what we've got. It comes with uh, the chain guide itself, some extra bolts, which is nice, I guess in case you lose something, and this rubber piece here, which goes around the seat tube. As I mentioned, the bike is pretty dirty right now, so I went ahead and already cleaned off the seat tube where the collar is going to attach. Make sure you clean off the area of the bike before you do any work on it, otherwise you're definitely gonna scratch up that paint. So I don't need these right now. I'll plop them on the side. What I do need first is the collar to attach to the seat tube. And these are all aluminum parts, which is really nice. The one that came on the bike was plastic, which is probably why it broke. So I'm going to take out this bolt right here. The only tools you need for this are a four millimeter and a three millimeter Allen key. So first I am going to attach the collar to the seat post. And I don't want this to be very tight. I want this to be able to uh, slide around so I can adjust it as I need to get the fit that I want. So I'm gonna loop that around. I want the, um, the side that kind of hangs off right here, the big side, I want that on the back. If this was facing forward, it would obviously hit my shock. So I'm gonna reach behind and give this bolt just a couple of turns so that it will stay put. And there you go. And now I can spin this around and move it around and manipulate it so I can get it in just the right spot. I'm gonna give it just a couple turns more so that it will be a little bit more firm, just like so. Yep, that'll work for now. Next, I need the guide itself. So this right here, what this will do is it sits right over the chain and any kind of bumps or shocks that lift the chain off and then fall off from the chain ring, this is on top of the chain, so it stops the chain from lifting off. The closer I can get this to the chain ring, the better. So I want this, I want the guide part kind of like here. This is good because when I change gears, of course, when I'm in, right now I'm in the, low, uh, the highest gear, so the chain is very low. However, when I'm in the higher gear, the chain's gonna be much higher up, kind of like this. So if the, the guide was further back, that's not gonna work because it's gonna hit the guide when the chain moves up and down to go to a higher gear, or rather from a higher gear to a lower gear. So I want this to be kind of right about there-ish. And in order to do that, I have to change the hole which this post is going into, because this post attaches right here to the, uh, to the collar. So for this, I need, I think it was the three mil. Yep, the three mil, broke that loose. I'm gonna take out this bolt. I'm going to put, I'm gonna move this down to this second position. And I am going to thread it back into place. All right, this one you can tighten down uh, pretty firmly because it's not gonna go anywhere uh, from here on out. Cool, that is good to go. I can put my three millimeter back. I'm gonna grab the four mil and I'm gonna just slightly loosen the bolt here on the actual guide. Don't take it all the way out because there is a, um, a nut on the back. You don't wanna lose that. Just loose enough so that you can kind of turn it and slide it back and forth. Okay, so 
this rod is going to go through the, the collar. And if I get down here, I want this to be as far back on the chain as possible, which I think is probably, uh, probably about here-ish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, the guide, I'm gonna put that as high up as it will go. And I'm gonna give this a couple of turns just to snug it down because I don't wanna move this one anymore. It's in its final location. I'm going to grab um, this three millimeter. And in order to align uh, how far out this goes, because this of course it slides in and out on this rod, um, I want to get the chain in the center of the rear gear. So let me flip this out of the way. I'm gonna turn the pedal and I'm going to downshift to right about there. So that way, because the chain is as centered as it's ever gonna be, if I center it in the chain guide, then that should fit both when it's at its highest gear and again, when it's at the lower gear. So I want to make this, I'm looking straight down at it. I want the, um, the, the sides of the guide to be parallel to the chain, meaning not like this, that would obviously not be good. So as parallel as possible. And then I am going to just ever so slightly tighten this three millimeter um, bolt on the back. All right, that seems about right. And of course the, uh, the collar itself is still a little bit loose. So we'll tighten that one down in a sec too. I'm gonna make sure this one is tightened. This is a pretty small one. So I don't wanna tighten this too much with the ball end because I don't want to risk stripping it. I'm gonna use the square end just because I, I'm a little worried about stripping out smaller bolts. Okay, now I need my four. Again, I'm looking straight down, trying to make this centered as possible and as low as possible on the chain. So that just by eye, that looks pretty close. We will snug it down and then check to make sure everything fits. I'm holding it in place while I tighten the bolt down because it's kind of wanting to walk around on me as I tighten. So make sure you are holding it steady. All right. And that's, that's really low down. I think this might actually hit the guide once I'm in the lowest gear because the chain will be just that much higher up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it, and let me show you what I mean here. So I'm looking at the chain. Right now it's halfway up on the rear cassette. However, if I go to a high gear, the chain will be about there. And as you can see, that's, that's hitting the guide. Whereas low gear will be right about there. That's plenty of space. So what I need to do is make, is I need to lift the whole thing just a little bit. So I'm gonna do that by making it a little bit higher on the, um, on the seat tube, just like quarter inch, just a little, little nudge like that. So if I squat back down, yeah, see how much more space is in there? Now, if I'm in a high gear, which would be about there, yep, it's not hitting. There's still more space above. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna tighten this down and I'll test it out. Don't over tighten it because it is still just aluminum. So you will, you will break it if you, uh, you will rather strip out the threads if you over tighten it. And that looks pretty straight. All right. So I'm gonna cycle the gears. I'm going to pedal. Let's go all the way to the lowest gear. Yep. So we got plenty of space. We're not hitting the guide. That's perfect. Look down. It's pretty close on the inside, but it's not touching, so we're good to go there. Let's go to the highest gear. All right, that's the highest gear. Looking straight down. Yeah, it's kind of close, but it doesn't hit. And we still have um, plenty of guide beside the chain, so it's not going to come out that way. So as it is right now, we shouldn't drop any chains from going over some gnarly stuff with the back wheel. 
I'm gonna take this for some test rides and I'll let you know how it is uh, in the next video. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day.